my name is Rebecca, and I brought along my sidekick, and his name is Floyd. Today, we are at the Bannockburn uh, Conservation Area. It's one of my favorite trails. Um, so, I've been here in the winter. Um, it was very slippery, and now I'm here in uh, early June. It is probably about 25 degrees out today. It is sunny and blue skies. What I'm going to show you today is just uh, this trail and also a little clip on what I bring with me um, on my day hikes. Uh, you can see I am over prepared today uh, because just here on my shoulder of my pack is actually a bear bell, which is so definitely not needed. This conservation area is overseen by the Asable Bayfield Conservation Authority. Bannockburn Conservation Area is 62 acres and was purchased from Grant Webster in 1973 to protect the Bayfield River Valley. There is approximately two kilometers of recreational trail. On the trail, you pass through six natural communities, which include a wet meadow, eastern white cedar forest, deciduous forest, old field, mixed scrub, and marsh. These natural communities provide great habitats for several animals and plants. The wetland itself helps regulate water supply, reducing the likelihood of seasonal flooding, as well as filtering the water, providing cleaner water for the surrounding area. Animals which are supported by this land include white-tailed deer, snowshoe hares, porcupines, red squirrels, eastern chipmunks, raccoons, skunks, and possums. Several species of birds also rely on this area, including hermit thrushes, yellow-rumped warblers, pileated woodpeckers, and the Acadian flycatcher. This trail boasts wheelchair accessible boardwalk and you can also download a virtual audio tour made available by the Ospel Bayfield Conservation Area. I will put a link directly to the download at the bottom of this video. Are you laying in the mud? Are you happy about it? Yeah? Can I go wander around or are you going to bark? Bark. Okay, cool. See, I turned my back and he's already whining. Come here then. Here we are walking over the river and wetland. Boardwalks, like this one, helps to protect the ground. 
When hiking, it's important to stay on the trail. Staying on the trail keeps you from getting lost, but also further protects the plants and geological features below your feet from being damaged by passive use. Here I am sitting in the shade, drawing some Dames Rocket flowers. These are non-native species to Canada, however, at this point, they are commonly found throughout southern Ontario, particularly near rivers and along ditches, growing in the wet soil. I'm going to actually move towards my vehicle, and we're going to go through what I have in my car and what I have in my bag. So here's the little basket back there, which helps keep things a little bit cleaner than if I didn't have it. Um, it has a... Uh, tarp type material on the bottom and then a canvas on the top. I've had this uh, for six years. Uh, you can see there there is some damage to it at this point. Um, it's certainly not brand new. It helps keep the dirt in but I also find it helps him from falling down uh, in the back seat which is pretty important in this car in particular because there is a lot of space there that he could like his whole body could fall under there and I'm not sure if he would have that confidence to uh to get back up especially when the uh, car is in movement and then he could just like hurt himself in general open this up and you'll see that i also keep uh a can of muscle and a can of sunscreen on the side door there which is almost empty so i kind of probably have to put a new bottle in but that's for another time. Other than that, I have pencil, some extra dog food just in case. And I usually have a first aid kit. However, the first aid kit's not in there right now, currently, because it is in my day pack. So I'm going to go through what I have in my day pack. So this is what I keep in my bag. I keep the rope because I like to sometimes stop and then I can give the dog a little bit extra room. I uh, used it today so that he could go into the water a little bit, cool off because he does get quite hot. Keep an extra roll of dog bags because I have been out on the trail and the canister is empty, so in a pinch. Um, I would have to like walk back to my car, but if I keep it in my bag, then I don't have to. Chapstick, which has SPF in it. A pair of nail clippers sunscreen because I'm a redhead and I find that sunscreen is a really big tool for me in the outdoors. Not everybody needs it. Uh, I am not part of that group. I am the person who needs it quite frequently and probably the most. Is the most. Mask because we're in the middle of the pandemic so if the trail happened to be crowded I could pop a mask on. An extra hair tie. Uh, sometimes I don't have my hair tied up and then it gets really hot and sticky on the trail so that helps get it up out of my way or it's really long so flip it up into that. Dog water dish and water for myself as well uh, in the water bottle there. I can also clear the pack of Kleenex because I got this first aid kit and inside of it it came with uh, standard things. It's two person, one to two person kit. Um, if I was going out with more people we would need a bigger first aid kit. However, so it came with standard things, gloves, alcohol wipes, tape, bandages, tweezers. I've added Benadryl in there. These squincher packs. You add these to water, they're electrolytes. And then I also have a kit that I added in here. That is a tick key, some Claritin, and then I also put in some Imodium. So those are just the additional things that I put into my first aid kit. Um, let's see here, we got a whistle, a compass, Tensor bandage. I thought I might be wrong on this. So after bite. Yes. Alright, so then I also put in some of these guys. Ben 10's 30% deep wipes. D-E-T wipes. Um, 
and those are really effective. I don't suggest you put them on your skin. I wipe those onto my clothing, and then I also put on a tube of Afterbite. This is medicated Afterbite. You can also get unmedicated Afterbite. Um, so the medication in this one is ammonia, which helps stop the itches. You can get another one and it's just baking soda. Um, both are effective. I find that one a little bit more effective, but I have used both and I have no complaints on any of them. So that is my first aid kit and what I keep in there. I want to say a big thank you to everybody who's watched this video and joined us on our hike today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for all of the updates throughout the summer. Other than that, stay healthy, stay hydrated, and have a great day.